Hello, I'm Michael Hernandez, a consulting engineer with ANSYS Reliability Engineering Services. Today, I'm going to show you how we use materials characterization to inform failure analysis, enabling highly accurate simulations. There are typically three main ways we characterize component properties, chemically, mechanically, and physically. For chemical characterization, we often start with Fourier Transform Infrared Spectroscopy, or FTIR. This technique uses transmitted or reflected infrared radiation to define the molecular fingerprint of a material. One of the biggest challenges facing pervasive simulation is obtaining mechanical properties for materials in the intended operating environment. To characterize the mechanical properties of a component, we can use a number of specific tools, including digital image correlation, tensile testing, and dynamic mechanical analysis. Digital image correlation, or DIC, is an optical method for measuring 2D and 3D displacement over a range of temperatures. Post-processing DIC data allows us to derive displacement, strain, and coefficient of thermal expansion. Using a tensile test, we can determine yield and ultimate strength, modulus, Poisson's ratio, and a number of other critical mechanical properties. Dynamic Mechanical Analysis, or DMA, uses precision displacement and force control, along with cyclic and static loading capabilities, to derive properties like storage and loss modulus and coefficients for creep and fatigue material models. Moving to physical characterization, our Electron Backscatter Diffraction, or EBSD system, allows us to image material microstructure to characterize grain populations, investigate different phases or compounds in the material, and assess the spatial distribution of elements. Information from each type of characterization, chemical, mechanical, and physical, helps drive more accurate simulations, which is critical to determining the root cause of why a product does not live up to reliability expectations. We look forward to working with you in the future. Thanks for watching.